When you're stuck inside for an entire year, you get to experiment a lot. And today, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Bill Bar, we're gonna be bringing one of those experiments to life. Not just any experiment either, but now one of my favorite recipes to date, high protein French toast roll-ups. You only need a few ingredients for this one and there's endless variations. So let's just jump right into it. We'll start this one by preparing our coating. All you need is a bowl, three large whole eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, fourth a cup of milk substitute, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give those a quick mix. If you wanna sweeten them up a bit, you can also mix in one to two tablespoons of your favorite sweetener. Put that mix off to the side and take out another bowl for your roll-up mix. And in that bowl, one container of Greek yogurt, one scoop of protein powder, and your choice built bar. Today, I'm gonna go with... Peanut butter brownie. And I like to chop mine up into pieces about this size. Now, if you've never heard of Bill Bar before, well, now you have. And this recipe alone is worth trying them. Outside of them all being delicious and high protein, they have great macros, as you can see too. Oh, and there's a flavor for pretty much any craving, so you'll never get bored. I'll put a link below if you wanna check them out. And don't forget to use my discount code that you can see here. With that said, go ahead and mix those ingredients together. If it doesn't seem thick enough to use as a spread, add in a fourth a teaspoon of some xanthan gum to thicken it up a bit. Another thing you can do with your roll-up mix here is to mix and match all of your flavors. Chocolate Greek yogurt and protein powder with a double chocolate Bilt Bar, raspberry Greek yogurt and vanilla protein powder with a raspberry Bilt Bar, and so on. Moving on, take out your favorite French toast bread, or really, whatever bread fits your macros that day. All you need to do to your bread is to flatten it out like this. A rolling pin will make things easier, but use whatever you have on hand, or your hand. Once your pieces are rolled out, spread your roll-up mix into them and evenly distribute it. How much you put in is completely up to you and how many pieces of bread you're making. The more you put in, the thicker your roll-ups will be. Roll them up like this, being careful not to roll them too tight. If you did it right, they should come out like this. The last step in this process is to dunk them around in your coating. Don't keep them in there too long so that they get soggy, but long enough to fully coat them. Let the excess drip off. Bring your roll-ups over to your stovetop pan or griddle coated with some non-stick cooking spray and cook each side for around one to two minutes on medium heat. Pull them off the heat and prepare yourself for one of the best tasting protein recipes yet. Seriously, how good do these look? There's a million ways to change this recipe up, so let me know what you guys do or plan to do in the comments below. Also, with summer coming up, I have a question for all of you. If you're dieting right now and tracking your calories, what's your weight and how many calories are you eating? Speaking of calories, don't forget that all the calories, ability to scale the recipe, print it, and everything else is now in one place on the website, theproteinchef.co, which I always link to in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Bilt Bar for sponsoring this recipe. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this recipe and to help engagement, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And of course, stay healthy. Stay healthy.